subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Welcome to my Samsung Galaxy Note 9 battery drain test. Yes, I did a poll and most people said, you know what, I wanna see a battery drain test. So we also got the review coming soon. The Note 9, I'm gonna be running this thing at max. We're gonna be putting it on full beast mode right now, using it like most other people wouldn't and see how long the endurance of the battery is. This can help you see, you know, how regular day-to-day -day use is gonna be because if it goes really long here, then regular day-to-day -day use is gonna be even better than what you see here. So it's 10:18 p.m., we're at 100% battery life right now. If you take a look, I'm gonna have a location on. NFC is definitely going off, don't use that often. Sync staying on, Dolby Atmos, of course, is always gonna be on here. S Pen mode turned on, and we do have Wi-Fi running. Now, keep in mind, LTE connection sometimes can make battery life worse or better, depending on you know your reception and where you're at. 9.5 Samsung Experience version, Android 8.1.0 version here on board. No Android 9 Pie just yet. Full HD resolution because this is the way it comes out of the box. Not everybody's going to know that you can put it in 2K. So here we are at the phone and it is going to be about time to get this thing started. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this USB-C into the LG G7 ThinQ, which is going to be running this timer. And for the first test, I ran a YouTube video. One of the older ones I shot on the iPhone 7 it was about an hour long review to see what we can drain on this device. And this phone just seemed to run YouTube like a champ because after about one hour, well, about 53 minutes, I'm estimating here, we have 90% of our battery life. So if you're headed on your commute and you watch a video on the train or, you know, if you're, you're just waiting around to get started at your job or you're waiting around for class and you're watching a few YouTube vids, you're probably only going to drain about 10%. Remember, I am rocking this phone at full brightness, so it might even be less for you so let's go ahead and continue so i did about you know 40 minutes or so maybe less of 1080p video here just straight continuous video to see what this can drain and at about an hour and 30 minutes you can see samsung galaxy note 9 is now down another 11 percent so camera is definitely a more heavy use case and if you're doing video this definitely eats into the battery quite a bit so video is a strong battery user for the galaxy note 9 so keep that in mind when you are picking up this device one hour 31 minutes screen on time continuing on i did install n22 benchmark and we did a couple of benchmarks here this is something most people are not going to do on the day to day but it definitely stresses the battery then i did some multitasking opening some windows played some games here for quite some time opened a bunch of apps ran a geek bench and after all of this, I did some drawing on the pen up community. I just drew this little, I don't even know what animal that was. Let me know down below in the comments. But you can see after two hours, 68% of the battery here. And continuing on, I watched another video on this device. And you could see that this one was about 43 minutes long in length. So this video right here was pretty long. So I figured that it would eat into the battery life. And I did more into two stress testing here which ate into it a lot and at about three hours and eight minutes you can see that the battery life is sitting around 49 percent for the samsung galaxy note 9 extremely warm to the touch but not overbearingly hot here for the device so 49 percent so far at three hours and eight minutes of on screen time so with this kind of use case i'm already impressed with this device because three hours and nine minutes and you have 50 percent basically of your battery life at you know running at full brightness and everything on high accuracy and location on sync all that this is pretty good endurance so far you can see that the video i kept watching more video again on youtube and we're going to go ahead and check this at four hours and two minutes around there and you can see 35 percent down now so we did went down you know a good 15 percent over the past hour or so but there's still plenty of juice left on the note 9 so let's see how much more we can get out of its tank so four hours and three minutes their screen on time and we're going to go ahead and just run some more applications to see 
what else we can do for this device. So more stress testing here for Antutu Benchmark. This takes a lot of you know resources and we ran some 4K video, which was a 10 minute limit at 60 FPS. And I did some more gaming and at about 3.16 AM or four hours and 55 minutes, I have 9% battery life. So we're definitely getting down there around the five hour mark here on the Snapdragon 845. Remember, full brightness, full beast mode. This doesn't indicate that like you're gonna get the same battery life here. So don't take this as a fact like, oh, my Note 9 is only gonna get five hours. I was expecting like eight hours, like on the Note 2, for example. But remember, this is pushing it to the max and it's still lasting. We can go light and moderate use and my video would be probably eight hours long here. It would say eight hours or seven hours on the screen time. So if we do it light screen brightness low, I think you're gonna get a lot more time out of this battery life. Standby time on this guy, I've noticed does juice down when you go to sleep. I've been noticing a 5% decrease every single night from the time I go to sleep to the time I wake up, like eight hours, 5% decrease. So it does decrease in standby, they can work on that. But overall, when you're actually using this phone, it can definitely go the distance here so far, at least from what I'm seeing. It does get warm under really intense use, but that's gotta be really intense use. Like if it's not super intense, then you'll be just fine. So the Note 9, definitely a winner. If you want the Exynos edition, I can't really speak on that one. But anyway, big thumbs up if you guys really enjoyed this content. It takes a long time to create a video like this. We got to keep recording on and on for five hours straight just to get you know this battery drained. So that is appreciated. But at around five hours and 11 minutes, we're still running here at 1%, but can it keep going? That's the question. We're on Instagram. We're going through a bunch of applications here, running through a bunch of stuff. And you can see even with all this intense pressure, it's still operating very fast. So that's a good sign for performance as well. And at five hours and 11 minutes and 58 seconds, the Note 9 has definitely lost all of its battery capacity. It did great. I'm definitely going to give it some credit here. Some people might say I want a little more, but think, keep in mind, this was full pushing it to the max. So what are your thoughts though? Do you think Samsung could have done better here with you know the Note 9 battery life? Do you think it's fantastic? Personally, I think for a flagship, it can't be beat just yet. I'm, I'm really interested to see if Apple can bring the 10 plus with a comparable battery life. It's a big phone as well. But leave your thoughts down below. And if you found this video helpful, enjoying, entertaining, informing, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. Again, it takes a very long time to record this. So I would appreciate if you smash that button.